Hello everyone and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In the first part, we began the game, we were robbing a casino six months in the future from now, and uh, then things took a turn for the worse for us. We got caught by the police and flashbacked to six months ago, which is now current day, where we are now. And uh, yeah, we've been sent to live with this dude, things haven't been going so great for us, and uh, right now, we are going to bed. Starting today, this is my room. Change and go to sleep. That's a pretty good way to start a part, going to sleep. Arrest, trial, criminal record. Damn brat, I'll sue! Still, I couldn't just let that go. Ah, <sighs> that day. I ended up going home late. Hometown neighborhood. Just get in the car. Uh oh. Hmm? I can hear a man and a woman arguing in the distance. I think they're just up ahead. How dare you cross me? How dare you cross me, he was saying. No! Don't give me that shit. Drunk man. Oh, even worse. Looks like that drunk man is bothering that woman. Ow! She's in danger. I can't ignore this. I have to save her. What a waste of time. You think you're worth causing me trouble? Huh? I'll, I'll call the police. Call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not going to take you seriously. Oh, no. No. Stop. Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car. Oh wait, maybe he that was was that just him trying to put up a front? The police my bitches, and then he actually hears the sirens and he's scared. Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. Uh-oh. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, who are you? What are you looking at? Get out of my face! Hate a show. Get lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car. Huh. So maybe the system was rigged against us because this dude is some high up person? In government, perhaps? Hmm. It's that weird app that somehow ended up on my phone. <laughs> that wasn't what's weird about it, my dude. The weird thing about that app was that it slowed down time. The icon looks almost like an eye. I thought I deleted it. You did delete it. <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm sure it'll work the second time around. My eyelids are starting to get heavy. And away you go to sleep. Hopefully fairly restful. We have a big day ahead of us of something, I'm sure. Uh. Ah, another flashback. Or flash forward. Or just dream? Huh? Ah, gonna go with dream. Pinocchio. Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> so you've come too, inmate. 
The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. Hey, called it. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. This is the this is the voice that we heard in the intro, right? When we signed the contract in the intro. Like, the very, very first thing we heard was this kind of weird... It's got some kind of, like, gravelly sort of... I don't know. There's, there's an undertone to his voice, which kind of... It sounds just not quite right. Not in the sense of, like, the game not sounding right, but, like, in the sense of his voice sounds, by design, off. Like, there's something weird about him. Important matters? Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future... There is no mistake that ruin awaits you. Ruin? I ain't no slave to fate. I speak of the end to everything. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated. Rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? I'd rather avoid ruin. Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justi. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. Time's up! Now hurry up and go back to sleep! <laughs> Interesting. Okay, there ends Saturday the 9th of April. I had a strange dream. Ruin? Rehabilitation? What does it mean? Looks like you're up. Nice hat. Well then, let's go introduce ourselves properly to the staff about your transfer. Okie doke. The school you're attending is in the Aoyama district. It'll take a while to get there by train. The transfers are a real hassle too. Oh, goody. I'll drive you there, but just for today. Let's go. Jeez, men aren't usually allowed in my passenger seat. <laughs> Daytime. Do me a favor and behave yourself, all right? Okay. Don't get me wrong. I don't care what happens to you. All oh, right, it's because I'd reflect badly on you, would it? Just don't cause me any trouble. Yeah, I see how it is. This dude, man. To reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. My man over here looking like Jabba the Hutt in that, in that bottom left uh, character portrait type thing. Strong Jabba vibes. Okay, right, well, I'll make sure not to cause any problems then. <laughs> In my opinion, you're nothing but a liability. But we had our circumstances to consider. Whatever you might have gotten away with in your hometown, those days are over. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the teacher in charge of your class. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Hey. Here's your student ID.
Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. I will be very sure to do that. And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. Okay, thanks. You're all giving me strong votes of confidence here. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? Mm-hmm. He is responsible for all his actions. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. My god, is she complaining that she has to take me in her class? Why are all the adults such dickheads? <laughs> Everyone seems so... like, they're not even giving me a chance here. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, I'll be sure to have a serious talk about the situation he's in. <sighs> Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. Okay, and you'll really look forward to it, I'm sure. I know I am. Everyone's giving you the cold shoulder. Yes. I mean, you can't talk. You are also, pretty much. That's what having a criminal record does to you. Okay, thank you for reminding me. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. Yes, I see that. By the way, if you get expelled now, I won't hesitate to kick you out. Got it? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, received and understood. I'll be careful. School never changes, huh? Yeah, I mean, they pretty much got the formula figured out by now, huh? Come on, we're going home. Give the kids a bunch of lessons. Break in the morning, break for lunch. You know, it works, <laughs> I guess, for most people. What a troublesome situation. A PE teacher. I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. A male teacher would be better suited for this. Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. Thanks, principal. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. They want to be seen as, like, <laughs> helpful and doing, doing good for the betterment of society, I suppose. Is that a cherry blossom tree in the background? I think those, I think trees with pink leaves are always cherry blossom, aren't they? I can't think of another pink tree. Looks very nice. I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that. That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. Well, I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. I'm afraid there is not much chance of that happening. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. <laughs> no. No, it isn't. Well, I should be returning to practice. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. I wonder if we'll be able to get into the volleyball team? We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. Or the track team. Yes, that's true. He did say volleyball, right? Why did it have to be my class? Man, she is really down over this. Ugh, traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. So, how was it? The school, I mean. Think you can manage? I mean, you were with me every step of the way, so <laughs> yeah, it was it was a thing. It seems fun. No, it doesn't. It'll be tough. Yeah, it'll, I think it'll be tough because like we've got to try and get past the prejudices that these people have and make it. I suppose. You brought it on yourself. Though. Okay, thank you. Still, you were expelled once already. <laughs> to think you'd re-enroll at a different one. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. This dude! <laughs> oh my goodness, do they not get vetted? Do these people that take in these kids not get vetted for, like, levels of dickheadedness? If that's what it was like at school, 
People might say stuff about me in the future, too. Oh, yeah? What a troublesome kid I've taken in. Well, how about you do your part to better me and mold me into something that society would be more happy with, I guess? Why did you take me in? Yeah, that's a good question. If you don't, if you seem so mad about it. I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to it. Maybe he's gonna secretly have a heart of gold. And it's a rough exterior. Uh, I've already been paid for it too, after all. Or maybe he just likes cash. And now, back to today's top stories. A subway train has derailed, severely affecting the timetable across all of... Oh boy. Oh, another accident. Huh. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. In fact, there was a real sad one just last month. It happened before you came here. Well, yeah, I've only been here for one day, so if it was last month. If I remember right, the girl that passed away was only 15. Yeesh. Her parents have got to be just... All traffic around Shibuya Station is being redirected due to the accident, so drivers should expect jam-packed streets. Thank you for the update, Mr. Newscaster. Oh, come on. <laughs> He is not very pleased to hear that, that is for sure. Straight into the evening, okay. The inbound train will soon be arriving at platform number one. Please wait behind the yellow line. Aww. Hey, what's going on? Uh. Uh. Yeah. Oh fuck is about right. According to the police, the engineer's life was not in danger despite his injuries. After questioning, even he could not explain his high speed when approaching the station. No further comments were made. Police are still looking for a plausible motive. It's less of an operating accident and more of a crime of the company and the government. Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Hmm. Oh well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. Is she... Is she the lady that came into my interrogation? Six months from now? I think it is. Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Huh. <laughs> I have not tried sushi. Uh, ever, I think. think there'd be that much traffic. What a waste of time. I wasn't able to open the cafe today. Oh no, you lost out on four bucks from one cup of coffee that you just sold. <sighs> Whatever. Just head upstairs. There's something I need to give to you. Yeah? Talk about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. Yeesh. Here's a diary. Make sure you keep it up to date. Why? You may be under probation, 
There's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. Okay. <laughs> However, I'm obligated to report on you, which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. Okay, makes sense. Hey, what's up? Never before have I seen a phone ringing be described as a PP sound. Or a pie pie sound, however you pronounce it. It's so, it's 99 times a B R R R R R or a B R R R R N G. Bring. Never, never a PP. <laughs> I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry, I'll be there in no time. Unless I have to drive, in which case it'll be hours. Uh -huh. I'll see you soon. Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up, so do whatever you want for the rest of the night. You got it. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. House party it is. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? I should do as I'm told for now. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> for now. I should write down what happened today in my diary. Saving. You can save your game by pressing options. When you see the button command in the lower left, you can save at any time. I need to get up early tomorrow. I should get plenty of rest today. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it indeed. Yes. Do 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 do. Save complete. My playtime is now that because uh, I had to, after recording the first part, I then had to edit and render and upload it for that evening and then I'm now coming back to play more. So that's why it says I've had almost five hours playtime because I couldn't actually save at the point where I left off I discovered so I had to just leave it running. <laughs> I am level one so there is a leveling system in this game, okay. Cool, good to know. Uh, Wait, can I actually write in the diary now, or is that... I guess that's something he does in his own, on his own time. Doesn't seem like I can do anything with those. Okay, let's go to bed then. That ringing sound isn't coming from my cell phone. I hear it coming from downstairs. Alright, let's go have a look then, shall we? Hey. Hey, it's me. Hey, you. Who is this? Shh, have you forgotten my voice already? It's Sakura. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I closed up shop, but I forgot to flip the sign that closed when I left. It's too much trouble for me to come back just for that. Think you can do it for me? You know what? I reckon I can handle it. Okay, got, I don't feel like it. Wow. Yeah, got it. I doubt any customers are going to come now. Even if the signs flip to open. And I have to say, this is quite a relief. It's a personal policy of mine not to save a guy's number in my phone. Oh my god. I'm glad you actually picked up. Anyway, I'll leave the shop sign to you. Uh... Flip the store sign. How? It just says go into the thing. Hmm. Oh, okay. If you go into the thing, then you automatically flip it. Okay. Good. Let's have a quick look around out here then. The booth seat. The sofa in the store has been wiped nice and clean. Well, that is good. Anything along the shelves? Oh, curry pot. There's a huge pot of curry here. I wonder if it's being prepared so it can be served tomorrow. Most likely. That is a pretty well stocked fridge. The store's ingredients are kept here. I shouldn't use any of them without asking. I shouldn't? That doesn't mean I necessarily won't. The bean shelf. A variety of coffee beans are all lined up. The faint aroma of coffee wafts this way. Blue Mountain, Kilimanjaro, Guatemala, Costa Rica. There are also a few other names I don't recognize. 
Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Many were wounded in the subway derailment accident. The train schedule is disrupted, and there's no estimate as to when train service will resume. But I need to use them to get to school tomorrow, right? It seems that transit problems caused by the accident will continue into tomorrow morning. Oh, well, there we go. It's news coverage about the derailment. Looks like it was a major accident. That is going to cause some issues. The tabletop looks like it's been nicely polished. Okay, looks like we're good. Time to get our snooze on. Is there anything else I need to do? Nope. I need to take the train to school. Youngin Jaya Ayo Ayo uh, pronouncing these names is hard. Ayo Yama it Itchom transfer. It looks like I need to go out to Shibu Shibuya Shibuya then transfer there. More news about that subway accident. Sounds like a lot of people were hurt. I bet this will affect the timetable for tomorrow too. That strange app I saw last night is back. It keeps showing up. Time to delete it again. I should probably reboot my phone just in case. My dude, <laughs> click the app. My eyelids are starting to get heavy. Are we going to go back to Igor? Nice. Early morning Monday. We're not going back to Igor. Okay, I have school starting today. Hopefully I can get there without getting lost. I don't want to be late on my first day. I should head out now. Sounds like a plan to me. Live an honest student life. <laughs> Who wants that? Oh, hey, you're here already. So, you're actually going to school, huh? No, I thought I'd put my school clothes on and then go for a jog. Here, I'll feed you. Just make sure you finish it before the customers start coming in. Oh, that's very nice of you. Curry? What's that reaction for? Just eat it. Hey, I, I mean, who really says that you have to have cereal or toast or whatever for breakfast? Like, curry? Sure. Why not? I can taste complex flavors within the bold spiciness. Oh, wow. It's time for you to go. That was delicious. Thanks. Hurry over to school. You'll end up late if you get lost on the way. Alrighty, anything else to say? Oh wait, there are old paperback books placed here. Hey. Get a move on, okay. Uh oh, wait, I can examine the phone now. What's wrong? Okay, he just wants us to leave. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, yeah, and flip the sign outside the open for me. Okay, last night, you had gone home. Fair enough. Today, you're literally standing right there. You could do it yourself. How about that? Why should I? <laughs> We're open already. Oh, it wouldn't do to piss this dude off. He's he For all of his, like, snarky remarks and general downer attitude... He is giving us shelter and food, and it doesn't seem like we're paying, so I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be a dick back. Got it. Don't forget to do that for me, all right? Yeah, will do. Now you better hurry on out. You're gonna be late if you get lost, country boy. Am I a country boy? I thought I was just from a different town. Although I guess this is a city. Maybe that's what he means. If you're not from the city, then you are by default a country boy. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Right, so. We want to go to the station. Was the station that way? I think might have been. Hang on, uh, R1 map. Oh, that doesn't really give much more of a hint. Let's just see, shall we have a quick look if I can actually do anything else now? Nope, can't do anything with that. Other people to talk to, perhaps? There's you, the police officer. Well. Media's having a field day. Wait, oh, this is the kindly officer. Huh? Is something the matter? Uh, how do I get to the train station? Did you get lost? It's in the opposite direction. You see the main road over there. Get over there and the station will be nearby. 
You best hurry if you want to take the train. The schedules are a bit off due to yesterday's accident. Did you forget something? Is something happening? Oh, don't worry, it's not anything major. Just a patrol. Patrols are a good idea after an accident like that. A lot of residents have been worried. Yeah, fair enough. The police are so lazy they're practically stealing our taxes. Yeeks. Yeeks? That was a mix between yikes and yeesh. Go to the station. Nice, okay. Let me on. Ride the train. Oh boy, there are so many people crammed into this tiny car. It turns out the rumours are true about the Tokyo subway. They're showing the news up on the LCD screen. It seems like there are still some lingering effects of yesterday's accident. This music is great, very chill right now. This is really serious. Things can't go on like this. Okay. Change to the Ginza line. Is there any way of knowing which one is the Ginza line? Because this is all written in not my language. <laughs> what? Nothing good ever happens. Someone should do something about that. Oh wait, no, it does say something line. Uh... If I go up to here, does it say go to Ginza line? I'm gonna assume this is right. I was supposed to transfer to the Ginza line. So this is not right, okay. What am I missing then? There must be a way to tell. Oh wait, does it say it above the boards perhaps? Inogami. Doesn't look like it's that way. Ginza. Ginza, Ginza. Not there. Omogachi. Ah, wait, there. Ginza line. One to eight. Down here. Ginza, yellow. Nice. Excuse me, coming through. Ginza line forward. Although it's cleaning the area. I should probably look for a way around, okay? Well, that's the exit, so we don't really want to be going that way. The JL ticket gates are just past here. I'm supposed to transfer onto the Ginza line. Looks like I'm on the wrong side. Okay, so this way then? So this goes outside. Station Square. Okay, what is this? Lottery stand. Place over here sells lottery tickets. Better hurry to the Ginza line for now. Fair enough. Uh... Aha! Ginza line up this way. Nice. Do, 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 do. Bread shop? Bakery? A bread shop. Who calls it a bread shop? Why was that what I defaulted to? An appetizing aroma wafts from the freshly baked bread. I'll come back here and buy something when I have the time. And the cash. Oh, I can talk to them though? Can I? No? No. Uh, access way. I don't actually want that, do I? Wasn't there a way to go... This way? Yeah, Ginza line through here. P. <laughs> I guess P is just sort of like the default noise for electronic-y stuff. Oh man. Did it say it was going to rain today? Huh, it's raining outside? It just started all of a sudden. This is why I hate the early spring. That reminds me. Did he take an umbrella? Uh, not that I've seen. Hmm? Who are you talking about? <laughs> Don't mind me. So, what'll it be? 
One house blend, please. The effects of yesterday's subway accident continues on today, as various lines suffer delays and... And... There's been a lot of nasty accidents lately. Sure have. You know, I mean the subway accident that the news is talking about. My co-worker got caught up in it and is in the hospital now. But that aside, it's kind of creepy. Creepy? The people who caused these accidents supposedly went crazy all of a sudden. I heard that some of them suffered from nervous breakdowns during interrogation. Huh. That is kind of creepy. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's some people wearing the same uniform as us. This is Aoyama Itchome. It took some time, but I finally made it. Sweet. Whoa, hey, it's raining. Whisper, 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 can I listen in? Hmm? There was another one of those strange accidents. This time it happened on a subway. If it weren't on a Sunday, I might have been on it. That's really scary. How much longer do you think this sort of thing will happen? Who knows, man, who knows? But I imagine we will be able to stop it somehow. Uh, right, out we go. 